Is compromise with the Taliban likely to work? Uh, who is the Taliban? Uh, what do we mean by compromise with the Taliban? I've written a little bit about that myself in terms of, of some op-eds. But you hear increasingly talks about how uh, peace and reconciliation is going to come through negotiation with the Taliban. Thank you also, Bob, for writing an excellent book that I will plug called Bargaining with the Devil. And I want to mention that because it may not be about Afghanistan and the Taliban, but I do want to very quickly inject an element of sort of hard-headed realism to the prospect of negotiating with the Taliban. And I think if I were to fail to do so, I'd be doing a disservice to my co-author. Because whenever we broach this topic in our book, uh, and I showed a little too much uh, you know, uh, weakness in my backbone, of uh, maybe wanting to believe certain things about who the Taliban are, my co-author quickly reminded me who they are, or at least who Taliban Central is. And we don't know how to deal with these people, so let's confuse ourselves and distract ourselves from the real work and go do reconciliation with the enemy. The enemy who don't even want to reconcile with us. No, none of them has come forward to say, we want to reconcile with you. We keep offering them to come and talk to us, and they don't want to do that. So if President Karzai is offering the Taliban money, if we have so much money, why don't we give it to the people that are with us and they don't have any job? Why are we taking Taliban on this side, giving them money? Why should we trust these people? They become spies and they have. I, I think there's a reason why these um, uh, explosions happen in Kabul repeatedly because they have people inside. How do they know that these this, this uh, the cars from the embassies are leaving at this time and they will be at this time there to, to get what they want and they succeed every time? So there's no point in bringing these low-level Taliban to the, our side. What are they going to do what? Coming to our side to do what? I believe that the real counterinsurgency is development and education. Once Afghans are educated and they have jobs and they have food, the Afghans will protect the country. We don't need troops anymore. And they do, and I know they do, because they've done it for us.